abracadabra, my Gucci Spickly Scab, I'm just delicious skip you. How are you doing tonight? Let me know in the comments below. You're looking gorgeous as usual, my baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Tonight we're doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my papa, my papa. Whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their person in June 2023. Oh, but, but, oh my gosh, Scorpio. So much heartbreak, so much pain. What's going on? What is going on here? So we do assume some kind of rift or separation between you and your person and the universe's them reads. Um, I do feel like you're uh, at some kind of a stalemate here with your person. You got temperance at the bottom of the deck. So if it's not a straight up breakup, divorce, etc., etc., it is a situation where two people aren't really talking. Uh, you're trying to weigh up your options and so is this person. In their feelings, they're just tortured by guilt and longing, <laughs> missing you, they can't sleep at night, but something really bad happened here, Scorpio. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna put it, um, we're gonna put a disclaimer on this video because this is a dark one. And you know how it is with Scorpios. We do get the dark ones, but this is, I see so much suffering here. And it's both people. It's both people. They, this person actually sees you as uh, as the fool. So they see you as someone who either walked away from them or uh, like you packed your bags and left. Um, even if that's not true, that's how they're perceiving it. They feel hard done by. This is someone who has a tendency, the person you're dealing with has a tendency to... Let me just clarify that. They have a tendency to feel sorry for themselves. They have a tendency um, towards headaches as well, like little migraines. Maybe they get terrible migraines or headaches. Oh, I think this person is trying to reach out to you, but inadequately, the Eight of Wands. I think they attempted to reach out, but they're blocked. Um, they could have like sent you a message, maybe you received it, they try to call you. There's some attempt at communication, but it didn't work out for them. Something could have gone down in September 2023 or nine hours, nine days, nine weeks ago, even nine months ago. Um, yeah, but the fool is them thinking, uh, you're making a mistake, Scorpio. You're not talking to them. They want to talk, the eight of wands. They want to talk and they're suffering because they can't talk to you. They cannot talk to you. But it's kind of like, you know, this is their karma. Because what I'm seeing in the past with Bill is the Four of Swords. So in the past, this person was the one who was silent. It was the one who would ghost. It was the one who would give you the silent treatment. And now they're getting a taste of their own medicine. And they don't like it. Some of you have white flowers around you right now. Like either in your neighborhood or area or in your house. Um, white, like little, like white, or um, look at this white flower, this little, you know, I think it's a mountain lily, not sure, uh, in, in the full card. So, you know, white flowers uh, are bringing you some kind of a positive vibration right now. Sorry, this is like total like <laughs> random channeling, but uh, I'm being told that white flowers, white plants are bringing you some kind of a vibrational enhancement at the moment. So surround yourself with, with light and um, specifically white flowers. If someone gives you a white flower, uh, this is your lucky time. If you go to a place and you see white flowers there, that's a lucky place. If you see what I mean. Could be a logo as well. Um, but yeah, the four of swords, this person was the one who gave you the silent treatment in the past. That was a person who didn't want to communicate. They didn't want to communicate. Why? Scorpio, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, but Bill, it was, this is someone who uh, made you feel trapped in a toxic situation. Um, you got the devil here for uh, how you were feeling about the situation. You felt trapped. You, f you felt the toxicity because, you know, us Scorpios, we can smell it. Yeah. Oh, the douche, douche flute. All right. We smell it. Mm. Uh, there is a lot of that. It was like a cloud of eau de douche when it came to this person. You could smell the red flags. You couldn't quite put, put your finger on it. And then this person started ghosting and they started being unavailable. They started being... Um, 
lazy in how they contributed to the dating situation. Uh, but before we get into the douche flute, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, my baby. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm. <laughs> Babe, Scorpio, I love you so much because I'm a Scorpio just like you. Sun rising, I got my Pluto and Scorpio, Saturn, everything. So, uh, yeah, like this is a Scorpio channel. But yeah, baby, this person loved you, but they, why were they like this? They just didn't try hard enough. It's almost like they didn't pursue the Knight of Cups, uh, sorry, the Knight of Cups, um, they loved you, but they didn't pursue. It's like a sleeping night. You know, this night has been enchanted and they can't wake up from their sleep. Um, they didn't know how to date in a healthy way and you felt their love. Even if you only knew this person for like a week or you went out on like four dates, one date, whatever it was, you felt their love. You felt their adoration and admiration, but it was devilish in some kind of a way. It, it, it was toxic. Uh, some of you are dealing with someone who has substance abuse issues um, and it's something like it's a doubt whatever they take it, it, it's a downer so you know it could be any kind of opiates and stuff like that it's or someone could be addicted to pain medication um, you know they're sleeping too much or too little uh, four of swords and nine of swords something here about like pain management and sleep and I feel like they're abusing medication or they're um, self-medicating with uh, Illegal substances basically between you temperance. So yeah, this person just didn't make um, any of the right moves the, when you met them Maybe you didn't realize Scipio, but this person was kind of your person was already trapped in in a bad cycle like it, it's a downward spiral and they're just not waking up. They do love you, they adore you, but they're not waking up. You broke the chains of the devil, Bippo. You decided it's time, um, it's time to, you know, assert yourself, put a line in, in the sand. Um, and the fool is you walking, I, th I think you walked away from this, or you got tired of uh, this person being bad at communication. Could have been like, uh, uh, a situation where this person was communicating with you on and off you know they were available not available because they got their darkness they got their demons they got their addictions and they just weren't available emotionally if it was an established connection it's exactly that situation and it could have been for a long 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 time and you know what came between you was that person's addiction um, or darkness there was some kind of medicine this person didn't want to take with temperance between you. They didn't want to take the medicine. They didn't want to help themselves for a very long time. And Scipio, but, but we are so loyal. We are the most loyal as, uh, babies in the Zodiac. So I think you gave this person many chances until you couldn't give them chances anymore. It was that simple. You just couldn't give. Yeah, they love you, but <clears throat> they didn't want to help themselves. It was, uh, the whole situation was affecting you in a bad way. Sleep, Why? sleep is really important. Either this person can't sleep, they were sleeping too much, could be like up and down energy as well. Mm. Hmm. And fire, they either enjoy fire, they could be a fiery personality, or there was like, I don't know, there could have been a fire. Oh, didn't Scorpio get fire? A couple of weeks ago, then we do a reading where um, fire came up. Maybe your uh, house burned down or there was like a forest fire near you. There's something about fire that affected the uh, the connection or was kind of like in the background of it. But fire is important. Uh, the Ten of Wands and their intentions. Yeah. Uh, this person's trying to carry their own burdens right now and not show you that they need you, but they desperately need you. This person needs a friend. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. They're, so it's like they've accepted their fate. They feel like the Scorpion is done with them. They feel like the Scorpion is done with them, but they still feel like you are foolish for walking away. Eight of Cups in the short term. This person's still walking away. Yeah. See, this is just like, oh, woe is me. I'm wandering the earth. You know, if you had a, a house together, for example, you know, this person um, feels like you cast them out and, you know, made them... Um, homeless in some kind of a way or like push them out into the world on their own uh and the three of swords so um 
I feel like in the long term, this person's not necessarily changing their behavior. They're not necessarily helping themselves. Let's see what the advice is there for this group. I'm sorry, Boo Boo. That's the truth, though. As sad as uh, of a little Boo Boo as it is, yeah, addictions, King of Cups. The love is there, but um, there is love of addiction, too. Someone has addictions. And, you know, uh, take everything with a grain of salt, Boo Boo, my Boo Boo, as you know. Uh, I'm just a random bimbo on the internet with the, uh, an inflatable alien in the background, but I feel like this person loves you greatly, but they love their addiction, and uh, I'm, I, I'm getting some kind of a downer, you know, like a downer drug energy, um, but I'm also getting, um, I mean, it could be anything, you know, because it's a general reading, but this King of Cups loves you, but they, they, they love their addiction too. They love their sorrow. At some point in time, the Six of Cups, if you really want to help this person, you would have to be their doctor uh, and you would have to keep helping them to improve themselves. And they would, I feel like they would. See, white, white flowers as well, again. Mm, I feel like they would, but it would take a while. It's going to take a while. There's going to be a return from this person, but it's going to be long, like long distance, right? Or like long term timeline. I'm sorry, I'm you, I'm losing the ability to speak. A long distance timeline. For now, this person's walking away. They've accepted their fate and they're just being brokenhearted and pathetic. Who else is coming in for Scorpio? If you love this person, Bipil, um, I feel like this person is going to try and change for you. So it's up to you, baby. It's all, it's all about free will on this channel. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You have an earth sign coming in. Um, you have an earth sign coming in this season, you know, by the end of the fall, uh, 2024, you have the potential to be in a totally different relationship, but it's all up to you. Um, yeah, it's an earth sign. It's someone who's very stable, someone who's going to know how to nurture you, and someone without those inner demons that the other person is dealing with. And the Empress at the bottom of the deck, so it could be a life-changing experience. Could be Empress, Emperor, anyone in between. Uh, gender is arbitrary, but it could be a life-changing experience. High-order soulmate, new soulmate, might be coming in, uh, in soon into your life. So, it's up to you, Bippo. It's not to say, you know, one person is higher quality than the other or anything like that. I hate phrases like that. But um, there's something about a new person coming in who can take care of you. You took care of the person we're reading for and still they kept effing up and effing up. And I still see them kind of passively walking away from love because they feel like they failed and they don't feel like they can fix it so it's like a, a very defeatist energy this is not like hero energy or heroin energy this is the energy of a douche flu but you know no judgment <laughs> okay some judgment excuse me let me know in the comments below this is your story also if you vibe with my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are interested in a personal reading all the info is down below i'll see you next time my baby my papa stay sprightly stay gorgeous stay moisturized and may the angels Mm-hmm. <laughs>